Six boxes of shiny things. That's Phoenix. That is not Prism. This is Prism. Here comes some shiny things. Somebody's outside freaking lurking around. Is it Jason Hogan? I'm freaking scared. Door's locked, so. And I got cameras. Somebody's pulling up in a water truck from the oil fields. I mean, there's somebody I can see. I have a big, you know, I'm a street level and I got big windows and I can see someone cruising back and forth. I'll catch a glimmer and then there's a car out there with their lights on. I think they're going to play magic and stuff. So there's a gaming store on the end here. I think maybe there's these kids going back and forth to the gaming store or something. I don't know. As long as it's not Mick Stoll's here to kill me. Or Martin. Maybe it's Martin. Maybe it's Martin bringing me a pizza. <laughs> Carter. Oh, man, dude. What a trooper you were. I know... You were just thinking, what in the name of all God Almighty am I doing here? What is happening? That was some, something else, dude. Come on. You have to admit, that was that whole 48 hours is like otherworldly. Bo Jackson, 
149. <laughs> Here's a Josh Rosen that was ran over by the uh, pretty much like his career. What if silver prisms in football were worth what the basketball dudes were? Bryce Loved, 75. Who bought the skins? Or who got the skins? John. Um, What's his name starting this weekend? He's starting the rest of the year. Just like I called. Just like I said. The most awesome and amazing NFL prognosticator right here. I forecasted that my Niners would be in the NFC Championship game. That's looking good. I never really forecasted that the Bears would be super awesome, but I think I might have said they can win the NFC North. So I was pretty much off by that. Yeah, you were. Especially when it... Terry McLaurin. McLaurin. T Mac. Especially when there's no real script. I mean, I, I didn't mean to get on national chat, but I'm saying this coming national in Jersey. Not setting up there doing breaks. There's no way. 0% chance. Zach Ertz. 249. I will set up there. And maybe I'll take a nice high powered laptop because I have to do breaks at the booths. Panini and tops and stuff. And then I can maybe bust out dual box breaks live on the laptop. But I'm not setting up the whole operation. I'm going to get a hotel room for you and um, Tyson. And you guys can sit back here July 4th weekend and do breaks. I mean, not July 4th weekend. Jonathan Abram, the Raiders. Who has the Raiders? Paulie does. If you would like to be here for the National, you can be here for the National. Oh, Lord, Carter. Oh, there's it. Auto jumped out at us. Joan Williams, the Patriots. Frankie Lewis, how you doing? Two forty nine. Oh, I'm sure there'll be a team here. I mean, that's if Tyson's serious about it. I mean, does he really want to be away from his family for a week by himself here at the store? I'm sure you can help him, Rob, if you're around. Available, unless you're going to the National. I don't know what your plans are. Josh Norman, 199. Redskins. Do you guys realize that 2020 baseball is, I don't know, just about 120 days away? Maybe sooner. Spring training. So it was my night off last night, as you know, I think. Yeah. 175 Warren Moon. And uh, I was downstairs. You remember, I used to do, do breaks down in the basement. In my office down there. And I'm cleaning it up, turning it into like a media room for the kids and stuff. And I found like three or four brown boxes of commons.
And I got all excited. I'm like, oh my god, I might have hit a mother load. What are these? Just all comments. Literally comments. Shiny comments. Nothing dope. That's my story. There's there's no, nothing dope was found in it. Except a bunch of goofy dolphins like Mike Jazeki. Hi, Tyson. Carter, do it. It's a fun feeling. I can attest to that. <laughs> Anthony Carter is going to put up another half a case of Prism. Seems to be pretty popular with all you like the shiny. 249 Harrison Smith is a Viking. I needed the Vikings and the Packers to lose this week. Of course they don't. What a Packers game that was. How about last night's game? Can we talk about that? Wow. I know my Niners lost. But that is an instant classic as they call it that game had everything lots and lots of drama Caleb Wilson to 175 and here's the thing about Jimmy Garoppolo he's no he's no Farvish he's no Russell Wilson he's no Drew Brees he just is a game manager as they say, he had his chance. He got the guy down in field goal range, and the rookie choked. Oh man, it was it was an instant classic. Forty nine Marcel Eatman. Just big plays, like fourth and long conversions, fourth and eighteens, first downs. Like back-to-back -back interceptions or back-to-back -back fumble recoveries. Runbacks for touchdowns. Scooping scores. Missed field goals. Just craziness. Oh, look. It's Miles Gaskin for the Dolphins. So, Dudley. Who did you buy, Dudley? Dudley bought... Can't see who we bought. He bought the Vikings, Dudley did. Fairly cheap team. Gardner rookie. He'll be back. <laughs> You'll see him again. Oh, yeah. Did I send you the prison cards? <laughs> no, I didn't. All those basketball ones and stuff? No, they're still here. So I found... I knew that when I got this store that I just had to be patient and through osmosis there will be some people who walk through the doors that I like. And that can be potential employees and help around here. I found the one, dude. But the gaming goat down here on the corner had a friend, and he sent him in. He does baseball. So he came in on uh, last week. I remember it was Friday because the movie came out. He went to go see a new movie. He was here on Friday, and he just sat here for like three hours and picked through all the common boxes back there. And uh, he came in again today and did the same thing. And he's really sharp. Knows all the players. Knows how to organize stuff. So I think I'm going to have him come in and get all those commons. I didn't realize how much these veteran, like, shinies and common cards actually sell for. There's a Benny Snell. Red Wave! 
Clifford, you didn't buy your Steelers. Benny Snell Jr. That's a good card. I believe that Benny will be awesome. Old school Drew. Tyson, did you see uh, any highlights of Kobe White for the Bulls going off tonight? 24 points in the second half. Most of them three-pointers. TJ Silver. Just ice. Anthony Barters to one hundred and ninety nine. Drew Locke, Prism Rookie. Tyree Jackson. How are we doing on our mini mixes? We're going to get to those tonight or no? It's 10, 10 15. That's prime time, early time for TSB. Only been on the air an hour. I'll, I'll do some of those mini mixes or the baseball mixer. Hunting some uh, luminance monsters. I did not, Tyson. How about LSU? What a game that was. I don't get to talk to you all until a Tuesday night after all the sports weekends. 75, Chris Jones. RG, Rashawn Gary. Packers, Richard P. Dick. Dickers. Chiefs go down. That is not Gardner. It's Ryquell up there for realcrappyautos.com. Rock chalk or something. Well, we're halfway through the season of football. 249. <sighs> J. 
Joe Montana, 199. The GOAT. I got to watch an episode of Peyton Manning and the GOAT Joe. Trayvon. Those are green 175s. I got a nice Fanatics Authentic mini helmet of him. Certainly a legendary talent. 49, Sean Murphy Bunting is a buccaneer. Hey, Chicago kid, Tyson? We're at in Chicago. What town? What city? Suburb. Well, a lot of times people say Chicago, but <laughs> it's not Chicago. Rob knows what I'm talking about. A lot of people say Chicago, but it's Skokie or Arlington Heights or Rolling Meadows or Elgin or... Doesn't necessarily mean he's from the city of Chicago. Like a city school. Hunter Renfro. I want to know where in Chicago. Patrick Mahomes hype card. They might be. No, but Rolling Meadows is producing soon-to-be Super Bowl champion quarterbacks. In the name of Jimmy Garoppolo. Brett Ripien is to 149. Julio, 99. Rise up. Silver Cahale Warning. Super Cooper, 249er. Oh, dope. All right. Well, I was just checking because there's a lot of people who are from Flossmoor or one of those surrounding suburbs, and they just say Chicago. In fact, when I talk to people, they say, where are you from? I say, I'm from Chicago. I live in the suburbs of Elgin or where I live. Because if you say you're from Elgin, they're going to say, where's that? I'm going to say, Chicago. <laughs> I've always believed that if you live in a suburb that has a train in your, in your uh, town that goes to the city, that you can say you're from that city. But... Somebody who lives in Rockford, they can they're not allowed to say that they're from Chicago. Or even a little farther out. Or they live in the Chicago. I say Chicago land. I don't say I live in Chicago. I say I live in Chicago land. <laughs> Wayne's world. 
Yeah, that's where Wayne's World was filmed. Aurora, right? Is that Aurora? Or was it Naperville? Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. There you go. Redskins owner, now starting quarterback, Dwayne Haskins. What if he turns around the Redskins somehow and they win right outright the rest of the season? And they win the NFC East, Grammy. That lopsided ass division. What's the biggest, most wins in that division? Five or six, Rob? What's the most wins in the NFC East right now? Five or six? I mean, seriously? That's anybody's game right now. Five? Well, Lincoln Park's not bad. Humboldt Park. Here's a Rodney Anderson card with a big scratch on the back. Do you see that where the light is? In the machine, your Rodney Anderson autograph Bengals owner is all scratched up. Uh, Frankie Lewis, when you get this, you need to know that it wasn't me. Like Shaggy says. It wasn't me. No, Lincoln Park is not bad. Lincoln Park is millennial. It's Millennialville. Millennialville. I just made that up, too. There's got to be a Millennialville somewhere. I used to live in Lincoln Park slash Wrigleyville. That's when I met Heather. Oh, they already did that? I didn't realize they already ran the Little Mermaid. That whole thing sounds weird to me. <laughs> the Little Mermaid Live! How does that come up in a board meeting? Production meeting. I know what. Little Mermaid Live with Queen Latifah and Shaggy. Dwayne Haskins, rookie. Steve Largent, 99. Who's winning Rookie of the Year at this point? NFL, halfway through the season. Tyson, what would you do if there was a recruit that got it to Texas Tech and he lived in Elgin here and... When he was home for the holidays or whatever, he came by the shop and came in here and did breaks and autographed a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff that said, hey, Tyson, guns up. Wreck them, dude. There's another Rodney Anderson. We're going to get one of these cool veteran autos here soon. Hmm. Juwan Winfrey, 49er. Debo and Drew. Oh, John Story bought the Giants. Come on, John Story.
Come on back, kiddo. James Conner, 199. If you would like to see Lincoln Park, those dudes are Lincoln Park. Oh, I can't see it. It's out of it's out of focus, but that's that's your that's your Lincoln Park dudes right there. They're like 30, 31. Went to some big school, big college. You know, Big Ten school in the area. Graduated. Got a job downtown. Realized after a year that they don't want to do that because they have to get up for work in the morning and actually have bosses and commute and do all that. So they went to Wrigleyville or Lincoln Park and got a job as a bartender or some social media thing. That's what they did. Damn, you dissing on the Big Ten basketball? Is it Michigan State in the Big Ten in Michigan? I know Michigan is. I'm sure Michigan State is too. Aren't they like top five team again? Rob, did you see Kobe White? Tonight, I like that kid. It's always smiling. He's got a great smile. Looks cool. Happy-go-lucky dude. Just scoring 24 points from the three-point line in the fourth quarter. Kobe. Kobe White for the Bulls. Kobe White, North Carolina. Rookie. Chicago Bulls. You don't follow the Bulls? Maybe you don't follow the Bulls. Probably not enough rock chalk dudes on it. 249er, Josh Norman. Yeah, Kobe. He just went off tonight, man. Fourth quarter, he just... Was hitting threes nonstop. Can I get my friend to? Uh oh, we got a gold vinyl. Gold vinyl coming up. What's it going to be? There's a Jordan Scarlet. Hopefully, it's an auto. Jordan Scarlet is a uh, Panther. Our gold vinyl appears to be unstoppable. Leighton Vander Esch to five. Who bought the Cowboys? DB got him in the EB dub. There you go, Diane. Gold vinyl, Leighton Van Der Esch. Five of five. I still want to get an autographed gold vinyl. Rookie of the year. No one answered my question earlier, but I'm pretty sure if you had to give out the award now, it's him.
Marshawn, 249. You like that, Grammy? Boom! There's a... That's what Select looks like. That's a monster. David Frick. Nice hit, dude. The me, Cole Hardman. 26-30. Forgot about these. Nice hit. Trayvon Williams. Trader to Wilson Contreras. Back to ninety DB, the second. Nicholas Chubb, 175. Geronimo. T.Y. Johnson. He's a lion. Brett Lyons for his lions. What's up, Brett, dude? Is that Mr. Michigan? Wowzers. How you doing, dude? Must have got the hanker and the itch for a break tonight. Posting another prism. Caden Smith is a 99er. Two forty nine 
Antonio Brown. I don't think he'll see the light of day in the NFL anymore. Glad that's over. Wish him the best. Get some help, Antonio. Plenty of places to get help. Especially when you got tens of millions. Metcalf, 199. Marquise Brown. That's good. He is a Raven, right? Marquise Brown. Lots of Browns this year. I think that's for Paul. Marquise Brown. Rookie auto. Brown, brown, brown. Number 10, though. Prefer that to be Daniel for Giants owner. John Story, but it is Nate Solder. Number to 25, Falcons. Patrick Michigan, rise up. Number to 25. There's the Gardner. Carter loading up on the Gardners. One forty nine, David Long. Rammies. This kid getting some action. Alexander Madison for the Vikings. Could make a playoff appearance. Lamar Jackson's freaking sick. Quincy Inaua, Ed Reed, one of my all-time faves. 
freaking ruled his position. Here's a Keenan Allen illumination. This might be a case hit or something. Chargers. Carter. Deontay Johnson, 249. I'll tell you what, man. These top tiered rookies are far and few between in the product so far this year. Which is a good thing. We are talking about that today. You don't want them dime a dozen, man. Then they mean nothing. Then they're not special. And everybody has them. Yeah, I'm doing that now. Get what organized? Oh, Robert D. Oh, yeah, he can do that. Robert Dearly. Russell Wilson gets my vote after last night's madness that he was able to freaking pull off a win with. Holy crap. He deserves it, man. I'm telling you, he <laughs> killed it. Oh, yeah. Wilson played awesome. I even enjoyed watching it. Wasn't too worried because my Niners were undefeated. It's not like that was a make or break game to go to the playoffs or something or knock them out of contention. Wasn't too stressed if they lost. Even though it was a division opponent. Just was watching some good football. All right, here's a hit recap. Those are all colorful things. 